Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. You're with Sambo, Seraphis, and joining us here out the front of order in Thanaland is Distant World. Hey everybody, look at that. Everybody giving us a big old wave. And I think a lot of them join us here in voice chat as well. Especially up the front here, our favourite little Lalafell. Katella, how are you there? Hi. Hey, how's it going? And I believe Blind Rage is there as well. Yes, sir, I am. How's it going? And I can see Pico Man there wearing some dashing white boots. I do see in chat is Oka. Hello to you, sir. Hello. Now, speaking of the white boots, by the way, what what has he got on his feet there? I think Pico Man's AFK. And by the way, we're going to ask you about your gear in a minute as well. But what's Pico Man? It looks like he's got like slippers on or something. Can you, do you know what they are? That's his harvesting boots. Ah, uh, harvesting boots. Right, okay. They look kind of like Ugg boots to me. I don't yeah. Know. Although that'd be... You know what? I'd like some Ugg boots right about now. It's freezing cold here in Melbourne. Now, anyway, on to you. You are looking very dashing there. Please tell us about your armor, because that looks that looks very, very high level to me. Well, most of it is just the Paladin artifact armor, but the boots and the helmet come from the high-end ma uh, material called uh, Hamlet, Hamlet Defense. Oh, I see. Okay, so hang on. Is this something that I wouldn't ever dream of being able to own then? Um, you could get it, but it might take a little bit of time. <laughs> of course. You know what? Time is something we have lots of here in Final Fantasy. As we pan around at everybody here in the link shell, it's great to see you all. <laughs> and by the way, every week that we come back, it looks to me as if everyone gets bigger except for me. Now, by the way, I was going to say a big hello to me who as always let's give her a wave she's trying to cause trouble down the front there last week of course she was beating up one of our fellow link shell members do you know what folks this week it's a blessing in disguise because her microphone is broken and that means we can't hear her Woo! that's right no mini this week so uh, oh, yes that's look at everybody's cheering oh poor mini look at that she's frustrated actually seriously mini we hope you do fix it up because we will miss look everyone's crying and laughing <laughs> All right, maybe we'll keep Minnie on silence. I think I think there's a resounding cheer. Oh, look, now she's pouting in self-pity. We love the emotes in this game. Do you know what else we love is the view? And Catella, just before we started filming, it was a beautiful day here, and then the fog rolled in. Am I, can I blame you for that one again, being our location manager? <sighs> I guess. I don't know, it seems to be tradition that every week we set up a great spot, and then we get thwarted by the weather. But look at that. There's the outline of order. And if I spin my camera right around, I can see a great big ball of yarn in the sky that's coming in very, very soon. And Merrick, are you there? I am yes, here. I am. Merrick, help me out here. What is that in the sky? Please tell us again. I always forget. The big red ball in the sky is uh, Delamon. It's actually a planet, I believe. It's a planet with spikes coming out of it. Now, why is it getting bigger? And what's going to happen? Like, presumably that means it's getting closer, right? It is getting closer. Right. It so will drop from the sky. All right. So does anyone here... Now, I'm going to put Blind Rage on the spot. Hey, Blind Rage. Do you know what... I mean, is it planned that this thing is going to crash into our world here? Or do we know anything about it? It hasn't been totally released what is exactly going to happen. Right. So we're all kind of left with a bit of mystery. Hmm. Interesting. I've got a funny feeling it's going to coincide with some events that are going to be happening near the end of the year, but we'll have to wait and see. And by the way, folks, our link shell is growing more and more and more. And that leads me on to another topic too, by the way. We've got a friend of ours here called Kava. Are you there, sir? Yeah, yes, I am. Hello to you. Now, of course, I'm calling you by your surname. I'm going to try to pronounce your first name. Let's give you a wave. Here we go. Sarah. How's that? Was that a good attempt? Yes. All right. Now, I understand you're good friends with Pico and Oka. Is that right? Um, Pico has been a link shell mate of mine for some time, and Oka recently joined the link shell to find our two together. Aha, aha. So you're talking about being friends with Pico for a long time. Is that here in Final Fantasy XIV or in other games? Uh, here in Final Fantasy, we've been link shell mates for quite a little while. Oh, fantastic. All right, so I think you came up with some grand scheme because, you know what, our link shell, like I said, is growing by the day, which is fantastic, folks, and we'd still love to see more of you coming along here to Masamune and joining us in Distant World. However, they're growing and they're getting big and they're busting seams, and I think you guys are trying to come up with some sort of idea where we have a bit of an alliance between our link shells. Is that right? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so maybe we'll see more on that as it happens, but that's good to know, and you know what, we like making more friends here on the Mass 
some Mune server, the more the merrier. And if we can join up with another Link Shell, that's even better. But look at this, folks. We've got everybody uh -huh. here. It's nice of them to come out and say hello. Although today, we've got a very special thing that we want to do, and that is the third part of our Grand Company series. And as you guys know, we've already done the, what is it, the Gridania and the Limza Liminza. Now, Catella, I think you've got something else lined up for us today. We've got one city's Grand Company quests left to go, right? Yep, we need to do Alder. Alder, right. Now, what is the name of the Grand Company from Alder Hound? And before you say that, I'm going to see if I can, here's a test. I'm going to see if I can remember the names of the Grand Companies from everywhere else. Now, I think, hang on, let me think here. Grudania was the Twin Snakes. Is that right? Twin Adder. Twin, oh, look, I was close. I was close. Twin Adder. And the one in Limsa Lamenta was the, what was it? The Mini Ninja Maelstrom. Is that right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Maelstrom. <laughs> the Maelstrom was all about Mini. And thank goodness again that she's not on. Yeah, there she is in chat saying, yep, it was all about me, basically. So what is the name of the one here in Ulda? Uh, they are the Mortal Flames. The Mortal Flames. All right, you know what? I honestly can't admit to knowing what they look like or what their colors are or anything. But I'm guessing, are we going to hop along there and do the very first part of the quests like we've done in the other ones? Is that what we're going to do today? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get them started. All right, awesome. And that will make three for three. Now, am I going to have some help or do I have to do this alone? You, are you and Blind going to come and help me perhaps? Yeah, we're going to come help you. Beautiful. Well, there we go, folks. That's what we've got lined up for this episode. And and then I think the following episode, gosh, we will have done all three of the Grand Company intros. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Catella, I'll have to speak with you later. Of course, for those of you who don't know, the brains behind all of this really is Catella. She organizes everything. If it wasn't for you, we'd be completely lost. So Lord only knows what she's got lined up for us after that. Look at her. She's blushing there. All right, folks. So again, thank you to everyone who came along to say hello. And if you're watching this from home and if you're sort of still deciding whether or not you want to be a part of Final Fantasy XIV, you know what, you need to stop that procrastinating. Get along here, come along and join us here on Masamune and you know what, you're going to have an absolute ball of a time with all of these wonderful folk here who are extremely helpful and lots of fun. Let's see if we've got anyone in voice chat that's particularly new into the link show. I think, oh, Stalin, are you there today? Yep, I'm here. Oh, that's disappointing. You don't sound like a robot today. What's going on? Did you fix your problem? Uh, I think we finally figured out it was was uh, me talking during the loading screen. Ah, oh, okay, that's what it was. Do you know what? I kind of liked it though. It was very cool. But look, you're a relatively new member. How have you found everybody? And I mean, what's it like being a new member here? Is it really scary and you don't know what you're doing or have people been helpful? Tell tell the folks at home watching so that um, they know what it's like. Oh, it's been great. They've been really helpful. In fact, I'm just about ready to pick up my second to last uh, Grand Company quest today. Whoa! All right, congratulations. There you go. All right, you're on the same road as us, but you're absolutely right. You know what? If Final Fantasy seems a little bit daunting to you, then you're not alone. It's daunting to all of us when we start. But once you get in here and, you know what, these guys here in Distant World start helping you out, everything locks into place and you're just going to have a ball. You're going to forget about it and you're just going to be, seriously, like hours will go by. Do you know what? I think, Catella, was it you and I, the other day I logged in and we were just going to level my con for like half an hour I think it was. For half an hour. Yeah, so how long did I end up staying in game for? I think it might have been two and a half hours. <laughs> and that is typical folks of what it's like here. It's just so much fun. So once again my thanks to everybody right here and throughout the entire Link Shell in Distant World for being such fantastic Link Shell members and helping out all of our new players. And if you watching at home would like to come along we'd love to have you. Anyway we're going to head away now and I think the next time you see us we'll be probably over at the Grand Company headquarters with Catella and Blind Rage, and we'll see if we can progress these Grand Company quests. <laughs> and here we are, folks. We're out the front of the inn, standing here with Blind Rage and Catella. Hi, you guys. Hello, hello. Now, 
I don't know about this, I'm a little bit confused because I know we're outside the inn and that's good and all, but if I open up my map, I understand if I'm, let's see, if I if I sort of use my smarts and sort of project where the actual grand company is going to be here in Uldar, based upon where it is in our other cities, I would have thought it was going to be over here in the market wards, but I don't know, Catella in blind rage dragged me all the way over here to the centre of the city near the inn. This is about as far away as you can get. Catella, what's going on? Well, Westet was nice enough to remind us that actually in the, one of the last patches they made it so that you could actually get to the market wards over here by where you would go to your inn. Oh, so you don't have to run all the way over there. That, oh, okay, that makes lots of sense. So, alright, well, can you show us where to go? So, in other words, if you log into the game, you come straight out of your inn, and if you want to go to the market wards or a grand company area, you don't have to run halfway across the city. Nope. We right. just have to walk up here. All right, go on. Show us where it is. This is good. I didn't know that. I did not know. So how many patches ago was this? I think it might have actually just been the last one. Wow, okay. All right, we... Oh! And look at who we've got here, by the way. Before we do that, we've got a whole bunch of our Link Shell members again. You know what? You can't can't get away from these guys, can you? No matter where you turn here on Masamune, there always seems to be a Distant World Link Shell member. And there's Merrick. Hello to you, sir. How are you today? Doing good, you? Not bad, just hanging out here by the fountain? Yeah, well, you know, it's a nice place to hang out. It is, isn't it? And there's Omos there as well, who we know is unfortunately unable to chat, but they can hear us. A big hello to you as well, and Westet. So, hello West, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Hey there, now, so this is your hairbrain idea. How did you find out about this? Was it? Did you read it in the patch notes as well? Yeah, I think it was in the 1.22 patch notes. They added a new entrance to the the wards and the Grand Company area <coughs> outside of the inns in every city. Yeah, do you know what? It's a great idea because, of course, it cuts down on the travel time. So thank you very much for the suggestion. And I hope you guys watching along at home appreciate that as well because that's going to save you a lot of time as well. And look who else we've got here. Tanya Waterstrike. Hello, my lady. Hi, Samba. We see you again. Now, I understand that you're going to be doing... Are you are you still on the Grand Company stuff or have you already done the first part of these ones here in Uldar? I did the first part of the Maelstrom and I'm getting the flanked one tonight. Ooh, and ooh, I'll probably and I'll probably go ahead and grab the last one either tomorrow afternoon or maybe Monday. Oh, good luck to you. You know what, it's always fun. I really like having the idea of these Grand Company quests because there's Cat cheering you on because it's kind of, kind of like something to look forward to. Do you know what I mean? And these are quite, let's face it, quite lengthy sort of quest lines as well. So, you know what, there's nothing worse in a game where you log in, especially in MMO, and you think, uh, what do I feel like doing today? I don't know what I want to do. I don't think there's ever going to be that problem with Final Fantasy XIV, especially with stuff like this going on. So good to see you all you guys, by the way. We'll stop annoying you now from your relaxing time there. And we need to speak to Catella. I'm guessing it's this person here, Adeen, is it? Yep. All right, so we'll have a chat with her, see what she's got to say. She's got a bit of a flash uniform. Hang on. Is that the uniform of this grand company? No. Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay, so she's in some kind of maybe steward's uniform or something. I don't know. Oh, I guess we'll find out soon when we go to the headquarters. So here we go. I offer guidance in the dunes to any in need of it. Seek you the Market Rose, the Hall of Flames. Where would you care to go, my friend? All right, so we've got a whole bunch of options here. One of them's the Market Wards. Obviously, we don't want to go there. Leminzen Mercantile House, the Gridanian and Uldan Mercantile. Oh, there we are. So the Hall of Flames, is that the actual... That'd be it, would it? Is that the Grand Company headquarters? That is it. All right, so can I click on it? Yep, go ahead. There we go, Hall of Flames. And I'm guessing that's going to... Is it going to teleport us there? I don't know, nothing's happening on my screen. Oh, there we go. Might take a second. Yep, there it is. Okay, that is definitely a nice addition to the game then. Look at that, straight into it. Here we are. Brilliant. All right. Thanks for that, West. Appreciate it. It was awesome. Yeah, was you're awesome. welcome. <laughs> Okay, so I'm guessing it's just the same as all of our previous couple of episodes. Could tell her I just need to speak to Flame Lieutenant Aubrey here, do I? Yep, that's right. Yep, she's pointing out of that school. Ooh, all well, these guys have quite a cool uniform. It's quite different to the other ones. Hey, Blind Rage, which which Grand Company are you aligned with again? Twin Adders. 
old tornadoes. That was the very first one we did, the yellow one. And of course we know that the Mini Ninja one last week, the Mini Ninja Maelstrom was red. These guys look to be kind of dark grey and tan. Mmm, tough choices. Which one am I going to go for? Anyway, let's have a chat with them here. Now what do I want, Catella? Small talk or career opportunities? Career opportunities. Okay, here we go. Now, as normal, guys, we'll read the first little part of these, but we'll probably skip through the rest and just get to the summary because there's normally way too much words to read out here. So anyway, first up, this is the home of the Immortal Flames, friend. We are the Grand Company of Uldar, and we welcome you to our halls. Look at Blind Rage there. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's uncontainably jubilant. All right. Your adventures have proven as useful as any in gathering intelligence. We have need of a good woman such as yourself. You know what? I get that in real life as well. Mm, according to Reggie, anyway. The immortal flames are dedicated to safeguarding the peace and prosperity of Ulda against the growing menace that threatens our realm. All right, so now they're going to start getting into some very detailed stuff, I think. So we'll just flick through this here. And again, you guys can pause the video if you'd like to see what all of this is about. But hopefully what we'll get is a nice synopsis at the very end. And we'll be able to read that summary. And here it is, career opportunities. You visit the Hall of Flames in Ulda and are entrusted with the task of the utmost importance by First Flame Lieutenant Aubrey. The desperate attempts of the Immortal Flames to secure the financial backing of an influential merchant named Taylor have all met with failure. Travel to the Fairy Docks and use your adventurer charms to convince Taylor to donate his wealth to the cause of the Grand Companies. Alright, well, we're definitely going to accept that. Now, I've got a couple of questions there. Firstly, if my charms that they talk about don't work, Catella, do you think we'd be able to use Blind Rage's more physical charms, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he's kind of big. Maybe we can intimidate them into it. But this location that it's talking about, where is it? What, where's, this, where's these docks at it? Is that in Uldar itself, or is that somewhere that we have to travel to? Um, It is, well, it, it is outside of the town of Alda. Um, right. So we're we're going to go, we're going to run for a bit. Oh, okay. Are we here now? If I bring up my map. Uh, camp. Let me see here. Camp Horizon. Yeah, Horizon? Camp Horizon is our closest. Okay, here we go. We're looking at Camp Horizon. Okay, so I'm... Oh, so the ferry docks, is that where... So that's where we signed off in one of our earlier episodes where you actually take the ferry over to the other lands. Is that where we have to go? That's right. Oh, so that's a big run. And by the way, guys, yes, here's the path all the way along here above Camp Horizon across this little channel here. And you can see, there we go, south is Alder. So that is quite a big run. So I think what we might do is there, there's nothing we need to do along the way. Is there, Catella? Can we just run there? Yeah, we can We can just teleport over to Horizon and then we can run from there. All right, so what we'll do maybe right now then, if you like, we'll use my teleport. So that way we don't use up your guys' anima. So let's have a look. We're looking at Thanalan. Here we go. And Camp Horizon. I'll teleport us there. So let's hop over there first, folks, and then perhaps what we'll do is we'll take a pause and we'll pick it up again once we get closer to the ferry docks. And there we go, we're off. Hey, I'll let you know another thing. On your way there, you're going to pass the co uh, copper and coffin. Yes, you can pick up yes. in a You can pick up an achievement guy there. Oh, thank oh you for that. yeah. Yes. No, actually, do you know what? This is. You guys aren't going to believe me. And by the way, here we are. We've zoned in at the crystal here. You guys are not going to believe this, but one day I was actually running past there, and I happened. And there's. Hello, hello, Kush, by the way. Look at that. Got another distant world member, just quite coincidentally. Hello. I was actually running past... Oh, and another one! <laughs> I think we can't take more than two steps anywhere, guys, without actually bumping into one of us. We've definitely taken over this server, no doubt about that. Yeah, so I was running past there anyway, and I walked in there, and I saw somebody, and I just happened to chat to them, and I actually got it all on my own. In fact, if we go into the achievements window here, here it is, and I think it was the quests one. Is that the right one? Yeah. Pretty sure it was that quest. So there you go, folks. I actually did something on my own for once. Are you proud of me? Will never happen again. Ah. She's laughing. Nice. She's laughing. Yeah, that's, that yeah but see, yeah. if it was on your own, it was a mistake, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Merrick. Unfortunately, he's 100% right. 
I did accidentally click on them, but anyway. All right, so let's have a look at this map, make sure we're in the right place. Yes, we are. All right, so we would definitely be heading north and then along to the west there, past the coffer and coffin, and then we'll get back to you guys once we get closer to the actual Port Ferry docks there. So we'll see you very soon. All right, here we are, folks. We're getting very, very close now. Let's have a look at a map. We've just come past the coffer and coffin, and we're about to go down into this sort of lower level area where the black marks are on the map here before we hit the ferry docks and Catella. We stopped here. I mean, it looks very pretty. Why did we stop here? And how come? How come Blind Rage? How come you've changed outfits, Blind? I became a 50 Paladin. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, why is that? Um, sometimes there's bigger monsters out here that like to con little people. Ah, okay. Yep, yeah, little people like level little level 27 Marauders, perhaps? Perhaps, yes. <laughs> All right, Catella, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of going to run through here in this position. What do you reckon? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, blind. Take us through to the port. You can protect us. Oops, it might help if I stop walking. There we go. I think I've mentioned this before, but you know what? I didn't even know that this whole area under here existed for the longest time. I guess I had no real need to come over this way. I remember the very first time I discovered it was, I think, I think we were doing a Link Shell event, and I'm pretty sure it was Pico Man was leading us over to the docks and I could not believe my eyes. Like, what is all this stuff? I bet you there's heaps and heaps of places like this in the game that I've just got no idea about. Now, this is something that I keep getting asked a lot, by the way, uh, about Blind Rage and Catella. Obviously, Blind Rage, you're saying this is a level 50, but how many level 50s do you have on this character? I've got one right now. Right, this one here. What's your next highest one, do you know? Um, I've got a level 30 Dragoon and a level 32 Pugilist. Oh, okay, so you've definitely got some high-level stuff. Catella, everyone always asks us what your levels are for your character here, so please let us know. What's your main main class on this character? Um, I, I kind of have two main classes, actually. Okay. I have uh, my 50 Bard and then my 50 White Mage. Ah, oh, so Bard and White Mage, very cool. And what what's the next one down after 50, by the way? What's your next highest job? Um, I think it's actually warrior right now i am such a little person aren't i level 27 we're getting very very close though hopefully getting there now blind rage you're running extremely fast how come you can run faster than us have you got some kind of buff on or something or we no just... i'm just running okay we're, we're we're just yakking we're just taking our time all right well that was okay we didn't get hit by anything that's always a good sign well, of course we had great protection here thanks to Blind Rage. So here we go. Now you guys might remember this, by the way, if you're watching along from home, where we all met up here one day just as the ship came in. It was beautiful. Although, if we go over to that same spot right now, it looks to me like our view's going to be a little bit obscured by the fog. Yes, it's just a bit foggy out there, but it still looks fantastic. Oh, now what's that? What's that out over there, guys? I can see there's a house out over the bay there with lights on it. Hang on, let me have a look on my map. What am I looking at? What am I looking at over there? What is that? Do you know Catella? Well, so far it's just been scenery. Oh, okay. We haven't been able to go over there or anything. Ah, so it's just there tempting us and teasing us. All right, okay. And I can see a boat. Is that a boat coming now with its little light? It is. Yeah. It? That's the That's boat. the one from Linsa. Oh, my Lord. There you go, folks. We have such good timing. Look at it. It's so detailed here in Final Fantasy XIV. I hope you can see that on the YouTube video because the actual lights from the cabin are showing through. That just... It blows me away. Seriously, I don't know any other game that has such an incredibly amazing attention to detail as this game. That is awesome. And that's, I think, exactly what it would look like in real life. If it was all foggy, you'd see those lights cutting through. And oh my lord, Blind Rage, you've gotten to your Jimmy Jams there. Have you changed to your Thaumaturge, have you? Yes, sir, I have. Ah, oh, good stuff. Alright, can you see the boat? Yes, I can. Yeah, that, doesn't it just look amazing? Oh... 
can't this is just amazing i mean the other thing too of course folks is that we've got version 2 coming up near the end of the year where this is even going to get ranked up another notch again which i find hard to believe it's already so amazingly detailed can you imagine what it's going to be like after 2.0 and of course we're all looking forward to that and just to remind everyone as well everybody who asks about the ps3 version that's touted to be coming uh, in version 2 or roughly thereabouts as well so we're talking about the end of the year if you're playing on the ps3 by the way i can't wait for the ps3 version i love playing it here on the pc but i reckon there'd be something special about being able to lounge back in your couch put it on your big tv and i think it would look fantastic now, here's another question for you guys blind rage do you use a controller or a mouse and keyboard to play the game um controller oh a controller interesting what about you katella I use a controller too. Okay, okay, see, so I'm primarily mouse and keyboard, but I do sometimes plug in my PS3 controller, and I must say this game is very well set up for a controller, so I'd say that all of you guys who are waiting for the PS3 version, you're going to have no problems. In fact, I think it's actually easier to play with a controller in your hand. Look at, oh, look at this boat coming. You know what, now that we're here, we've got to wait. I want to wait until this boat comes in because I want to have a good look at it before we talk to our quest giver for the Grand Company quest because that is a sight to behold. Yes, Catella agrees with us there. Look at that. Seriously, folks, you name any other game where it looks this amazing and I'll give you 10 internet points. The sense of immersion and open world in this game is just amazing. You still with us there, Merrick? Yep, sure am. Do you agree with me, or have you played a game that rivals the graphical beauty of this game? I've actually been trying to think of one, and at the moment I can't think of one. Yeah, I'm a bit the same. Are you still there with us, West? Yep. What about you? Have you ever come across a game that tops this one in terms of the sort of feel, the open world feel, and the graphical amazingness? No, I, I love this game. Yeah, it's hard, hard to top if you ask me. Look at that, when the boat comes in right there for us on cue, that was great. All right, so Catella, who are we needing to talk to here? Is it Taylor, is that him? Taylor, yep. There he goes, all right, hey Taylor, let's have a chat with you. Here we go, small talk and career opportunities, that's, that's the one, there we go. What's this then? From the looks of it, I'd say the immortal flames have sent me another of their lap, I'm not a lap dog much come to try and talk me out of my money have you come now do you truly expect me to believe that an organization thrown together in so hasty and desperate a manner can truly protect me and my interests well i'd like to think so uh let's see let's see if we can skip through some of this maybe he's saying they have to or we have to show what we have to offer before he gives us any money basically i think is the just to this one unless if the flames were to win the support of a man known as oh oh is yuri anja again i might be more inclined to consider entering into an agreement he's one of those mysterious souls traveling from etherite to etherite preaching dark words of the coming of the seventh umbral era hmm I'll not be fooled by those so-called Archons, and neither should you. Yuri Anja's words are all he has, and that's all they are. Words. This seventh umbral era is either a hoax or a trick of the old fool's mind. Be that as it may, fear is spreading amongst the small folk like wildfire, but in the billows of smoke, I smell opportunity. So it sounds to me like he's going to turn this into profit. So he's asking us to go find Yuri Anja and bring him to Taylor by force if we must. Oh dear. We are likely to find him near these very docks. He's, uh, where is he? Just southeast of here. And the odds are you'll come upon him before long. Okay, so I've got a question for you, Catella, because there's something that's been bugging me about all of these quests. Uh -huh. Why Why are we always after the same guy, but we're, we've done three different grand companies and we've been in three completely different locations? Why do they all ask us to see this one guy? I don't get it. He, let's just say that he kind of is, hmm. <laughs> I don't oh. want to spill too much. All right, so spoiler alert. <laughs> He's a, yeah. kind of a intricate part at the moment. Ooh. Can you tell us something without giving away the game? Um, I can say that he's really powerful. And really powerful. 
Ooh, actually, I think you mentioned that in our last episode, didn't you? When we were fighting him. Oh no, that was about the woman who who split herself into many instances of herself. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, the yeah, the Ishtula, that's uh, the woman from Limsa, uh, is rather powerful uh, as a mage. And then there's uh, Thancred uh, here in Ilda, and uh, who you've met, uh, I believe, in uh, the starting episodes. Yes. And then there's uh, uh, what's his name? The the, li the little person uh, in Gridania. Papa oh. Lima. Those uh, those people are all from the same place apparently, and they all have little um, tattoos on their thro throats, showing that. All right, so there we go, folks. Sounds to me like we stumbled upon something there that we don't want to know too much about. All right, so is it safe to say, Blind Rage, that my confusion a little bit right now is kind of deliberate? They're, they're sort of dangling us on a bit of a string right now? Yeah, it's pretty much a cliffhanger at right now at the moment. Okay, all right. Well, I definitely feel that way. There's no doubt about that. All right, so do you guys know where we need to go to find this guy again? So I think um, if you take a look at your journal... Okay, let's open up our journal. Here we go, journal open and, oh, that's right, they're all color coded. So career opportunities. Okay, we're looking at the journal. And so you should be able to click on the map and it should show you right where he's gonna pop up. That's right, it's such a great feature, isn't it? Oh, oh, he's right down south. Okay, so I guess, how do we get there easiest? Do we follow the road to the coffer and coffin or do we sort of come down this, this west hand edge here along the coast? Is that gonna be faster? Uh, we could probably try the coast. Yeah, okay. Down the coast. We'll just see how it goes. All right. Well, we might as well. Let's see. We'll keep. We'll keep going. Let's see if we can do that now. Let's see if I can close my journal. There we go. All right. Lead the way. Because you know me, I'm probably going to get myself lost. Oh, where'd you gone? What have you done? Oh, you've changed class as well. You are a white mage now. So does that mean we've got heels? Yeah. Yep. All right. I think they're they're saying that they know what's going to happen. I think they know that I'm going to need heals. That I'm not very good and I'm going to get hurt. That's what I think. No votes of confidence here. No, no. I'm just not quite sure what all is <gasps> across the coast there. <laughs> sure. Sure thing. I'm I confident that it'll be as easy as last time. Oh, okay. All right. It was, look, it was very easy last time, but it's still lots and lots of fun. No problem. Now I can see Mini Ninja smirking in the chat there, in the Link Shell chat. I uh, see you, Mini Ninja. Worry. We made it look easy. It was rather difficult, but we made it look easy. Oh, I see. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully, Catella in Blind Rage will do the same. Can you imagine me trying to do it on my own? That would be that would be very very funny. All right. So here we go out the front gate, and we'll wait for our two buddies here. We'll have a look on the map, and I'm guessing how do we? Is there actually any way of going down the coast, Catel? I can't see. I don't think there is. Oh, maybe not, because we're all the way up here now. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go to the coffer and coffin then. Yeah, and then head south, because it would sort of be down this way, and there's a big wall in the way. Unless there's, there's not two ways. Blind Rage, are there two ways out of the ferry docks, or is it just the main gate? Not that I know of. I think it's only the main gate. Okay, all right. So, yeah, I guess it's forcing us this way. Do you know what I love? The little details again. Did you hear that, folks? Listen to this. Listen to my footsteps. Grass. Splashy water. That's amazing, isn't it? It's just the level of detail, the attention to detail. Just, I love it. Oh, man. That happens on the bridge to Limsa Limits as well. They have metal plates on it, and when you walk over the metal plates, it starts uh, going from wood to uh, metal. Wow, wow. Yeah, you'd think they'd be able to get away with those sort of details, like, ah, oh, nobody, nobody will notice that stuff, but they put them in. That's why we love Square Enix, of course, and why we love Final Fantasy. All right, so I'm guessing that, I mean, you know, if I judge by our previous couple of episodes, I'm, if this is going to sort of follow the same format, I'm guessing we're going to meet this guy again, and then, Catella, are we going to get a summon of some kind of hideous monster that we're going to have to defeat? That would be a pretty good guess. Yeah. There you go, so you can't put one over me. I I are smart. That's right, I are very smart. <clears throat> I can see everyone's fallen silent there because they're thinking, what on earth is he talking about? No, he's not. Alright, now am I going the right way, by the way? Speaking of being smart. 
Well, and actually, you know what? We're following you because you got the map. Oh, oh, oh dear. You're royally screwed now. Sorry in advance. <laughs> because you know what? I can't actually, it's not marked on the map, so I'm going to have to go check my journal again in just a second to make sure we've got the right perfect. You can see there's a split in the path here. Let's do that right now. Let's go into our journal, folks, and this is a good good point to make if you ever get lost on a actual quest make sure you go into the journal and open the map on that and there we oh look i was leading us to the wrong one as well all right so it's the right hand little outcropping there all right fine let's blaze that into our memory let's have a look on the normal map okay so it's over there all right we're heading this way and thank you for the buffs. <clears throat> now these guys, of course, aren't going to aggro us, but they are Cactuars, and I love Cactuars because it's so Final Fantasy. Let's go up and see if we can say hello to one. Hello. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if they actually respond. Hello. Oh. Oh, they don't want to be friends. Never mind. Do you know what? Actually, running around out here in the desert with these guys, it actually reminds me of. Final Fantasy 12. Now I know we've spoken about Final Fantasy 12 with Seo Mayo in the past and I think with you Gerb as well and even Merrick but Catella and Blind Rage I don't seem to remember have we quizzed you about what sort of games you guys like do, do you do you only play PC games or are you console gamers as well? Um, well she plays PC but I play console and PC to some of them. Radio. and are you PS3 or are you Xbox or both? I've got a PS3, a Wii, and an Xbox. Ah, yep, sounds like me. Sounds like me. I, there's too many good games on each system, you know what I mean, to only get the one, if you ask me. Did you play Final Fantasy XIII on the console there, Blind Rage? Um, yes, I did. Uh, and your thoughts? Because, of course, a lot of people don't like it because it's so linear. Your thoughts on it? I liked it, actually. It was great. And thirteen two is really good, too. Yep, I've, I've just started that myself. I'm really enjoying that as well. Love being able to travel. And do you know what I like about it is the collectible stuff. It's kind of like Pokemon. In fact, I've just started black and white Pokemon as well, white. I'm, I, I don't know, something about collecting games. I think I've got a problem. Anyway, it looks like we're about to hit the invisible wall, I'd say. Here we go. So, Sambo. Yes. I just got a message. Um, so it's saying that the, the LS is voting that you should solo this one to try it. What? What? You're joking. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Here. Are they... Uh, no way, really? Oh, Mini Ninja, look at this. Mini Ninja's saying he, he, he in the chat room. Is, this is Mini Ninja's fault, isn't it? I bet you she's the ringleader on this one. You horrible, <laughs> wicked witch, you, if you can hear. Yeah, look at that. There's a little emote. I will get you, but you wait till you're on voice chat again, Mini Ninja. We, You will get your just desserts, don't you? By the way, I have no idea what fight I voted for, but Sambo plus Solo equals must see, says Arietti. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, no. You, you know what? You would be okay. Well, well, you'll have a buff and then you can go in and worst case, you know what? We're sitting out here and we can try it again, but I think you really would be okay. You're made to solo anyway, so pretty much yeah. you can do it by yourself. Yeah, so now what you've done, of course, is you've set me up because when I completely fail, everyone will say, but Blind Rage said it was made for solo. Oh my lord, Sambo must suck. Oh. Nah, we'll just take that part out. Oh, sure you will. Right? Sure you will, whatever. All right, so do I have to drop group or can I stay in the group to, come, to go in? I think think you'll have to drop group okay here we go let's go to party here we are and party details and by the way this is how you drop it a group guys you just hit leave there and that's it you leave the party all right here we are in link shell chat oh okay here we go you guys are awful all right wish me luck I didn't see that. This is Mini Ninja. Seriously. Yeah, look at her big grin, cheeky grin. I will get you back for this, don't you worry. All right, do you wish to proceed with career opportunities? And yes, I do, sadly. Oh, God, this is, this is going to be so nerve-wracking. Do you know what, Gerb? We were talking about this before. We were saying it's too easy. I'm going to eat my words. Here we are. Cutscene time. Nearer till land consumes sun can see bare moons heaven spew crimson flame hells seep black dooms do you know what i think that sounds familiar that's definitely Urianja, if you ask me hearken unto me ye seeker of truth and through my words be saved and there he is the cenary sun yields the sepentary moon expelling the astral beckoning the umbral so saith the eternal wisdom of mazaya thousand eyes 
A shadow hangeth over the realm, growing blacker with each passing day. Rise from thy waking slumber, see the nightmare for reality, and ready thyself for the coming chaos. Darkness descendeth, but surrender not to despair, for the future is forged in the flames of the present. Child of everlasting dawn, hast thou the courage to face the night? Actually, no, I haven't. Thank you very much, Mr. Yuri Andrew. I haven't, but they're pushing me in here. They poked me in here all by myself. They're all horrible. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do we wish to heed Yuri Andrew's warning and join his cause? I guess we do. Sambo Sambo, he's the man. If he can't do it, no one can, says Mini Ninja. She's giving me a pep talk. There's no getting out of this, Mini. I won't forget this ever. All right, let's say yes. The foul taint of deceit corrupteth thine heart and wills thee to deeds most sinister. I have sensed the hand that guideth thee and know of its intent. Full oft truth lieth not in that which is spoken, but in that which is left unspoken. Refuse to open thine eyes, and thou shalt linger in darkness for eternity. Or mayhap the dark shadow cast upon thy soul hath rendered it unable to accept the dawn. Mayhap that shadow must needs be vanquished. <laughs> mummy, mummy, mummy! There's a big thing with huge wings and big teeth. Ah! Okay, All right, I'm back out here now. What's going on? I'm back out the front. Did it just boot me out? Oh, and now it's putting me back. It was teasing me. It was teasing yeah. me. It's put me back in. Defeat the Anolf. Oh. <laughs> Guys, it's level 19. It's... Oh. You're okay. 27. I know You're I'm okay. 27. But 27 in Sambo speak is like 10 in anyone else's because <laughs> of my terrible skills. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Deep breath. Deep breath. And look Just at this. Just remember relax. the combos. Remember the combo, relax. And Mini Ninja, yeah, you know what? Typical. Everyone's saying, here's my support, relax, deep breath. What does Mini Ninja do? She's laughing my ass off in the voice chat. I can see that. <laughs> I see of that. Course. Of course she is. Uh, all right, here we go. We're charging in. This could be it. By the way, if I die here today, I leave all my stuff. To Catella, not Mini. Mini gets none of it. None of it whatsoever. She's out of my will. I look forward to your revenge, she says. Yeah, you will be getting it. Don't you worry. All right. I'm fighting for my life here. Actually, if I edit this, maybe they won't notice. But I've got an inch of health. I'm at an inch of my life. Oh, my Lord. I'm nearly dead. And the Anol Familiar has a full health bar. This could be it, guys. I could die. Oh, okay, all right. I didn't lose any health whatsoever, and I killed him. That was <laughs> terrible. Uh, uh, I think Mini has been in contact with Regina. I think so as well. I think they're ganging up on me. Look at that, folks. I actually survived. There we go. Never till land consumes sun can sea bear moons. Heaven spew crimson flame. Hells seep black dooms. You seem shocked. Oh, it's him! It's him! It's Thank Yeah, it's Tankrath. Oh, okay, I remember him. He's been through right throughout the entire single player story here. That is good. Not a mini saying that she knew I could do it. What a load of rubbish. No, you didn't. You were hoping that I'd die. I know you. You seem shocked, says Thankrath. Thank you, can tell. You seem shocked. Check the, yeah. check the tattoos and the tattoos on his throat. Check them. Oh, you're right. In okay, I've never noticed that before. There we go. All right, you seem shocked. I am a bard, I'll have you know, and not utterly devoid of talent. The verses of Messiah should pose no significant problem. I confess I am glad to have journeyed so far in search of my inspiration and muse. For the noble display that you have shown me this day, I shall repay you with a kindness. I shall tell you of the prophet. Ooh. More than a thousand years past, a great calamity was visited upon this world. Across the sky, a terrible... Oh, thank you, Blind Rage. Great job, Sambo, he says. Across the sky, a terrible blackness spread till no light could be seen and then descended, seeping into the very hearts of men. Thus, 
was he sorely afflicted and his ways perverted kind of like kind of like mini ninja she's perverted we think chaos was in all places all at once and myriad creation was destroyed Avarice reigned supreme and oh what's she saying she's saying she's only mildly perverted there okay Avarice reigned supreme and civilization was thrown into a lawless struggle for wealth and power the mighty taking as they saw fit to complete with complete disregard for nature and fellow man alike do you know what guys gonna pause on the story here what do you think by the way um gerb I think that a lot of the stories here in Final Fantasy, in all of the Final Fantasies, tend to kind of be a bit of a loose sort of political statement, would you know, like a reflection on the, the life and times in our real world. What do you think about this? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Uh, a lot of the stories go are about uh, nature versus technology. And that's something we are, um, yeah, you see in the real world. Sometimes it's about uh, big uh, political power going against smaller political powers, and that's something that's in the real world as well. And but sometimes it's something completely different. Uh, religion, uh, there's also a lot of religion in there, and a lot of different elements. All things uh, considered, uh, there's a lot of similarities, but there's also a lot of differences. Yeah, and I think that's a great synopsis of it. Thank you for that, by the way. And I think what it points out to me, and could tell her, I'd be interested in your opinion on this, it means that if you wish, for me anyway, if I'm in the mood of you know, really wanting to get engaged into the story and draw those parallels to the messages that are coming out of the game, I can. But sometimes I think it's possible if you're just in that mood to actually just have a bit of fun and ignore it. Do you find that, Catella, where you can sort of pick your depth with this game and most Final Fantasies as to how you feel like playing at the time? Most definitely. Was it that way in Final Fantasy XI? Because I never played XI that much. Um, I think it must have been because you know what? I just really enjoy playing XI and I like hardly ever thought about any kind of political <laughs> statement it would have made. <laughs> Well, but there you go, and it's, I mean, that's a perfect example of it. I mean, we all play for different reasons. For example, some of us play to get away from our pain and suffering in real life. I know a lot of our viewers that do that, and hello to you, you all know who you are. And, you know, a lot of us play just because we love the interaction with other people. Some of us play because we like combat. There are, you know, thousands of reasons why we all play. And I think you've just hit the nail on the head there, Catella, where you can actually just enjoy a game for your own reasons. But I think it's nice to have that wide palette of options available, and I think Final Fantasy definitely covers that for all play styles so there we go evil begat evil and ripened unchecked taking on the sicky sweetness of rot near to bursting and rank with the promise of decay it was then that the twelve grieved by the corruption and sin that had gripped their creation decided to purge the world of its easels easels is a new word for it it is easels purge the world of its evils with a cleansing deluge proclaiming behold the power of pure water and thus began the sixth of the umbral eras there is a moral in this story for those wise enough to find it you see it was we mortals who brought the great flood upon ourselves and our world having left the gods no recourse and so if our faults ushered in an umbral era in the past then our strengths can prevent the coming of another in the future so what say you Seraphis will you pledge yourself to the side of good and fight to save the world know that you cannot rely blindly on others in such things as this yeah I know that we can never rely on mini ninja <laughs> never trust her as far as we could kick her the road to victory must be found within yourself as it must in all of us. I saw you there, Minnie. I think you can kick her quite far because I she's uh, a Lalafell. Yeah, it's like Lalafell punting. We have no, 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 no kick in the Lalafell. No, oh, whoopsie, we've angered the gods of Katana. Well, there. Uh, certain Lalafells are uh, off limits, but uh, <laughs> some are. <laughs> There you go. I'll grab your tail, she says. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. She can do that. You know, knowing her, she'd probably bite onto it. God's speaking to you has given me the most sublime idea for a poem. You are my muse, Seraphis. Truly, you are. But I shall take up no more of your time, nor you of mine. Until our paths cross again, be good and be well. 
Wow. Do you know what? Absolutely adore all of these stories. And here I am. Hello. Yes, I am in one piece. I made it. I am that awesome. That is correct. <laughs> Truth be told, of course, everyone's going to get to see it, unfortunately. So I can't, I can't spin a web of deceit and lies. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think I actually took any damage, to be honest. But anyway, we'll, we'll keep that between ourselves. All right. So, Katella, what do I need to do now? I, need, I guess I need to go into my journal, right? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Oh, let's have a look here. E blah, 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 blah. Are we yes, there we go. Return to the ferry docks and speak to Taylor of what has transpired. Oh, okay, all right. So we need to, just like our other ones there, we need to head back to the ferry docks. Let's have a look at a map. And yes, yeah, so we need to go basically north to the coffer and coffin and then head west back to the ferry docks. I think we'll do our usual thing, folks. And we'll take pause now and we'll pick it up again when we get to the ferry docks. So we'll see you in just a moment. All right, here we are. We're back at the docks. And the first thing, come on, Catal, I'm going to dump you in it here. What's the first thing you said when we ran in here? Go on. Look at the water. Look at the water. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And of course, it's completely different from when we left here. Blind Rage, are you a scenery guy? Does this sort of thing, you know, excite you? Or do you not care about that sort of stuff? Oh, I love the graphics in this game. They're just beautiful. Good to hear it. Good to hear. Aren't they, though? They're just amazing. In fact, you know what? Every time I log in, I'm reminded of way back when, like a couple of years ago, when I first started seeing screenshots of Final Fantasy XIV. Do you know what? I looked at those and I just said, they're, they're lying. That's fake. That's not actually an in-game. That's a cinematic. And I was proven wrong happily because it's just so gorgeous here. But yeah, you're absolutely right. You know what? I just want to dive down there and get... In fact, hey, is that a path... Hang on, I know we're here to hand in our grand company. Oh, are we, can we not get down there? Oh, I want to go down. Can we not? No. No, you'd have to actually pretend like you were getting on the boat to go to Lensa before oh. you could go down there to talk to that guy. Oh, I see. That's how you do it. All right, fair enough, too. Damn, I want to go down and see the water. All right, now, speaking of talking to guys, and by the way, look at this, we've got a couple more of our Link Shell members there. Let's give them a wave. There's EP. Hello, EP. Good to see you. And we've also got, who's that, Ker hello Kerwin, there we go, you know what Catella, we can't like set one foot in the place without stumbling across a distant world member these days, can we, it's just fantastic. It's true. Ah, there we go, alright, hello Taylor, we need to speak with you, and this is career opportunities, well look who it is, I confess I was just asking myself whether you would return. Yeah, well, do you know what, actually, Taylor? My horrible link shell threw me to the dogs, and it was quite possible that I may not have returned because they could have killed me dead. That's right. Anyway, <clears throat> got that out of my system now. Fine. Have you found our good Yuri Anja then? Oh, and look at that. According to Mini Ninja, no, 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 we were toughening you up. Whatever, Mini Ninja. Whatever. All right, escape. You need it. You need it. Gods, this bastard is more elusive than a greased Opo Opo. Whatever a greased Opo Opo is, good lord. I thought an adventurer perhaps capable of the task, but uh, it seems I was wrong. That's right, because I am awesome. But there is no use nor gill in lamenting over such failures. You were able to procure some new information, so your efforts were not entirely lost. This higher bloke you spoke of seems to know quite a bit about the umbral errors. The question I now find myself asking is whether all of this was mere coincidence. Hmm. I think that perhaps I should inform my superiors. I am not one to ignore my instincts. It is that they have made me a rich man, after all. You failed to fulfill the task I set before you, Seraphis. Oh, way to put a bummer on things. Gee. Still, you are not wholly undeserving of some praise for your show of sincerity and diligence. Allow me to give you a second chance. Gee, thanks. I'm willing to fund the immortal flames, but I shall give to them only so much coin as they give power to me. You may tell that barbarian Raubarn those are my terms. Oh, okay. No uncertain terms there. All right, there we go. You obtain Taylor's letter of intent. Let's thank him. Oh, no. Now, is there a... I keep forgetting. There's no slash thank in this game, is there? No, there's not. You'd think there would be. There we go. We'll bow to him instead. Thank you, Taylor. All right. So, what's next, guys? Look at this. We're surrounded by our, our link shell members here. Catella, what do we do now? And now we're going to head back to the uh, headquarters area. Oh, okay. So in all the... So, does that mean we can teleport back? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hop out into the middle here. Here we go. You guys ready to teleport? Looks like I can initiate that if you like. Here we go. Yep, we we're go. ready. Thanalan. Yep. Here we go. Yep, cool. Ulda. And yes, we wish 
to teleport. Thank goodness that's another great thing about Final Fantasy XIV. If you ask me, and see you later, Kerwin. See you, EP. If you ask me, it's that you have the choice. You know, a lot of games that have fast travel options, you get a lot of old school players complaining that it breaks the immersion. And in some cases, I agree. But you know what? If you've still got the option to actually run around in the world, then I think there's nothing to complain about. You know what? If there's a fast travel option and you feel like it, you're running low on time, take it. If you want to do the immersion thing, run there. It's your choice. I don't think you can ever blame the game for something like that. All right. Now, this time, though, guys, are we just going to go to the one that's nearby here, right? Because we're right at the crystal. So we're going yeah, to... I think that would probably be the best way. Yeah, okay, there we go. There's Blind Rage running on ahead. We'll do the same thing. Pop up here until it triggers and Hall of Flames are us. That's where we want to go. And here we are. Now, just before we go further, I've just noticed something in Link Shell Chat. Blind Rage, what does this mean? Arietti Clock Gobu Horn. What's what's Gubu Horn? The Gubu Horn is the calling device of a Gubu, so you blow it and you get to ride on a Gubu. Whoa, does that mean actually that so Arietti has actually got her Gubu? That's right. Yep. Oh. I mean I mean she's level thirty. Oh. It means you need to congratulate her. Yes, that's right. Absolutely. There we go in chat. Congratulations to you there, Arietti. By the way, if you guys haven't already, hop along to our Distant World Engine site. And there's always a link to that, by the way, down in the description below this video. That is where we house Arietti's awesome comics. Now, Catella, I know you're a fan of them. You know what I'm talking about, right? I do. They're great. Aren't they? They're hilarious. Arietti actually makes little comics out of screenshots that she makes here in Final Fantasy XIV, and they are absolutely fantastic. So, please, we've made a special gallery for her called Arietti's, uh, what is it, Arietti's Comic Corner, I think it's called. Is that right, Kat? Yep. Yep, there you go. So, make sure you go along and have a look at that. And, uh, yeah, they are great. Well done, Arietti, and congratulations on your mount and level 30. That's fantastic. And look at that. She's saying, I can't stop laughing at my screen. <laughs> Oh boy, I can't wait. You beat me to it. All right, let's have a look here at Flame Lieutenant Aubrey. See what he's got to say. Career opportunities. How did we fare? Do we have a letter? Yes, and we're going to give that letter over. There we go. You show it to him. Now, we're just going to flick through this stuff. And there we go. Look at that. There it was, folks. The famous victory fanfare from Final Fantasy XIV, which we love so much. That is done. Woo! All right, I think, I think I've think i done my first... There we go. Thank you very much. My first step along here. And, of course, as before, we've got a couple of little tiny quests that we can pick up right now. Kindling a flame. Can you tell are these ones that we're just going to have to, like, speak to somebody really close by, right? Yeah, yeah. Just kindling a flame, and then the next one is burning a hole in one's pocket. Oh, great. Okay. It's amazing how she knows all this stuff. There we go. Immortal Flames Recruit. That is us. Woo! And look at that, we've now got one, two, three in the Grand Companies. We've got Limsa Liminza, the Mini Maelstrom, we've got the Order of the Twin Adder here, and we've got the Immortal Flames as well. Awesome, they're all there now. This is great. And it's just talking about the currency and the seals and how to get to that window, by the way, much like the other quests that we've already done. So we can just skip through this stuff. Now, well, now that you have three of them, uh, you need to turn it into one single uh, yeah. choice. And that's going to be tough, I think, because we're going to have pressure from all over the place with people saying, join this one, join that one. I think no. Maelstrom's the only choice. Yeah, okay, <laughs> there we go. See? In the, end, in the end, it, it'll be your choice, and uh, every leader will have a speech for you. And after those speeches, you'll have, you'll be able to choose. So uh, I just advise you to uh, read the speeches and think uh, on it after that. Thank you. That's a very wise move. And I think Catella, you've said that as well. We definitely want to go through the speeches, don't we? Yes. All right, there we are. Now, by the way, before we actually speak to this Flame Sergeant Raz here, hello, I am going to... Oh, is that Westet? Where's Westet? Oh, they are spinning. She's sitting over here oh, in the corner. There they are. Hello, sir. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. I 
just remembered, by the way, you guys have reminded me, to give them a wave, hello, that we've got a couple of shout outs, so we're just going to quickly flick through those before I do my final parts of this quest here, because we love shout outs, and just reminding you guys that if you'd like one, all you need to do is ask, you don't need to subscribe, you don't need to like, you don't need to do anything, just ask in the comments below, I'd be more than happy to say hello. First one here is from 231 Demand, and they say, hey Sambo, I'm a big fan from the UK, I'm writing this to ask if you could give me a shout out and also shout out my website well, we can do that oh you know what I'm just gonna put that in the description below sorry about that 231 D man I can't read it out because the, the writing is way too small we'll pop your link in the description below this video but a big hello to you another one here from Anthony 86 EX great episode guys love seeing the link shell in action I hope to join distant world on my ps3 when Final Fantasy 14 comes out with version 2 I love the song at Oh, at 48 minutes and 22 seconds in our last video. Oh, I wonder what that was. I wonder if it was the theme from Thanalan. I'm not sure. I am now playing Final Fantasy 12 on PS3. And I hope that Square Enix bring this game to the PS3 as well. They will, mate. Don't you worry about that. Please give me a shout out in the next episode. We will. That's from Anthony86EX. Hello to you. Oh, Blind Rage. Blind Rage. What are you doing? Are you wearing Are you wearing opposition colours in the opposition's grand company headquarters? Yes, I am. You feed. That's nasty. That How is. dare you? <laughs> Going to upset, ruffle some collars there. Got another one here from, um, oh, this is from Layla Feluna. And they say, what a beautiful name that is. I love the videos you make and I've been watching them since the first episode. It makes me want to play with you and the Link Shell, but I can't. I have to wait until the PS3 version comes out can I please have a shout out it would make me feel happy and I can't wait to play with you and all of your great link shell members at the end of the year there you go thank you very much Layla Feluna thank you for your support we've got a couple more here folks one from model J white and they're saying great job on yet another let's play what's that let's play oh another let's play series this guy played Final Fantasy 11 for years on the PS2 and loved it until the Xbox version took over and killed the allure of the game within a few years with all the updates and inflation. Now we're going to pause right there. Catella or Blind Rage, you guys play Final Fantasy 11. Catella, did you play it on PS2 or have you always played it on the computer? I played it on the PC. On the PC. What about you, Blind Rage? Did you ever play it on PS2? Yes, sir, I did. Oh, okay. So what is he talking about here? about the Xbox version coming in and ruining things. Do you know anything about that? When the Xbox version came out, there was a bunch of new players, so everybody inflated all the armor prices. Oh, thank oh. you, West. Good to know. That's what he's obviously talking about. Very interesting. All right, so he's saying your videos keep me holding on till 2.0, so thank you very much to you and to all of your Link Shell members. There you go, guys. Take a bow. And could I please trouble you for a shout out? And that is from Model J White. So thank you very much for your support. And finally, here we've got one here from the fan Mark. And they say, I hope they link the PlayStation 3 with the computer version. I would love to join Distant World. It's a fantastic, amazing player environment, they say. If you wouldn't mind, I would like a shout out to Chopper Age Ushio, even though my account is deactivated for now. You know what, we will definitely shout out that. So, now speaking of that, there's another question. Uh, by the way, are you there, Merrick, still? Yep, still here. Okay, so are you able to answer this question that he's asked there, which is, do we know if they're going to have basically the same players on the same server across both PlayStation 3 and PSC, uh, PC games? Do we know? From what I've heard and from what I've read, yes, they will be. Ooh, all right. A lot of developers promise that, and it never happens. So if it does happen here in Final Fantasy XIV, we'll love that very, very much. So there you go. That was for the fan mark. Certainly hope that helped answer your question. There we go. All right. It's time. It is time for us now to speak with Flame Sergeant Raz. And what do we want? Burning a hole in one's pocket. Now we're just going to flick through this, guys. Yes, this is all a complete mystery, I'm going to say. Because there's a lot. These are very wordy, these parts, by the way. Hopefully we'll get a summary. Oh, we finished it. There we are, the victory theme once again, and I think we've got one more quest over here. Do I talk to Aubrey again, Catella? I believe so. All right, let's have a look. Arms race. What's this about? 
You have come to aid the cause, that is good. I have an urgent task for which I require a woman of your proven loyalty. Hmm, a unit carrying arms and munitions from near Al Amigo has come under attack. Wait a minute, is this the same quest again? Is it? No, this is this is actually the next one. This one I'm not sure if you are actually wanting to do Oh, just yet. All right, we'll flick through this. We'll at least accept it. It's saying here that the Desert Nation stands not only to lose last, uh, vast amounts of gil, but to have their military capabilities compromised as well. The Hellhounds are reported to be somewhere in the vicinity of the Golden Bazaar. Find them and kill them. Even if we're not going to do it now, shall I accept this anyway, Catella? Yeah, go ahead and accept it. Here we are. Only return to us after the deed has been done. Okay, that is it. So now we're in a very interesting position, I think, because, you know me, I'm going to be totally confused. Katella, help me out here and tell us what we're going to be doing in some of our future episodes. If I go into my... Now, by the way, where whereabouts do I go to be able to actually see my grand company stuff? Which main menu item do I open? As far as the quests or as no. far as, like, what you have? You yeah, know, you know there's that window which showed my three grand companies? Is oh, it? attributes. Oh, attributes. Yes, sorry. I explained myself so poorly. Here we go, general attributes, classes, key... I oh, there we go, you're, you're dead right. Grand companies. All right, so what now? I mean, we've got these quests. I've got these three options here. Everybody's talking about these speeches that we have to listen to. What's my next step? And what's the next step for any player who's following along from home? Catella? You're actually not ready for the speeches just yet. You have a few more quests before you'll get there. Okay, so is it these quests that we've accepted from these guys here at the end of our sessions? Yes, you've got those two and then and then you're going to have a couple more actually for each place. Okay, all right. So I think what we might do is we might take a little break from the Grand Company content for the next episode or two. We might throw in a bit of an update, but I think it's definitely time to take another look at some single player stuff because, because, yep, all look at that, we get an agreement there from Catella. Because down here, I've got a flashing NPC link pill, and that means we've got some single player story stuff ready to rock and roll. So I think that's what we'll cover off in the next episode. But like I say, uh, perhaps off camera, we'll progress some of these grand company quests, and we'll be sure to give you progress updates as we go along. Long. So we've got all that to look forward to in upcoming episodes and of course certainly hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'd like to give my very personal and appreciative thanks to Blind Rage. Thank you my friend. I hope that wasn't too boring for you but thank you for offering your protection the whole way. Anytime. And of course to Catella who again behind the scenes works tirelessly to make sure that you guys have always got content. There's something going on in our episodes. Catella as always I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you enjoyed yourself today of course great stuff and i think if we swing our camera around there we go west hello are you still with us yes i am hey there good to see you as well but there we go folks we've got to get out of here so on behalf of myself seraphis blind rage katella and west sitting over there in the corner and of course the rest of us here on the distant world link shell on masamune it's us saying take care hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye